part two of my Moira video. Um, if you haven't seen part one um, of what it's like to be a reenactor behind the scenes, I will link that up here. I'm not sure how to do that. I said that on the last video. I'm still not sure how to do it. I'll figure it out. Um, but it will be in the link in the description below. So do click on that to understand uh, both parts. But this video is going to be primarily based on um, what the public see, what, what you see if you come to an event um, and come in and see what we do. It hasn't got everything in it that we do. Um, I didn't film a lot as much as I wanted um, and I'm hoping at future events I will film a lot more. So that will be a lot more content to publish which will be really great for other people to see. Um, for now it is only a snippet of what we do, um, so morning, afternoons and then evenings um, on both of the days, the Saturday and the Sunday. Um, our next event um, I just wanted to quickly add in is Marbury Cheshire um, for the American Civil War Society. Um, I'll post the events at the end and also the events pages in our description below along with my regiment that I'm in, 118th Pennsylvania and the society that I'm in as well. Um, so if anyone's interested in those they will be linked in the description below. I'm going to let you get on with the video now but before I do, if you do like this video um, or you know someone that will like it, please share the video and like the video and subscribe. The share button has a Twitter, a Facebook and an Instagram icon. I've never seen that before, but you can share the video. Um, if you can share the video, that would be amazing. As more people that watch this, uh, the better it is and the more published it gets. The aim is to get more people to see what we do as a society and what I do as a reenactor behind the scenes and from other people's views. Um, I'm not going to talk anymore, but have a lovely evening, everyone, and thank you.
But if you put the if you put the rations out, you can't really be the spotter. I'll be the spotter, then. Right. You got me in it. Okay. Who will have this one? Private Hatton S. Yeah. We'll have this one. That'll be Copper and Buddha. Yes! Yes, I've got the big one. No, thanks, Tony. Yes. <laughs> Who will have this one? Private Hat and M. Good thanks. He took my bean. Shut up. Who will have this one? That'll be Corporal Robinson. That's the way it's fair. Because you don't want people complaining about somebody got more than somebody yeah, yeah. else. Favoritism. You've got your back turned. You yeah, can't yeah, do exactly. get yeah. Who will have? This one. Private Goddard. We don't have two sorry. private Golda. Goddard. Sorry, didn't we go yet? <laughs> Golda. I could have two vessels, don't I? Come on. Can't read one right. Damn it, there's a slap bang in the middle there. That's been that one. Ha. Who will have this one? That'll be for Sergeant Manison. No Sergeant Madison. <laughs> soon, soon. Soon to be, Sergeant. <laughs> Private Sergeant. Oh, is that why I got the big piece? That's yours! Well, we've got a big piece of He's got yeah, a big yeah, one, yeah. there. Well, you know, just come to a rank. It's all fair. Who will have this one? Who will have this one? Private Conyard. I've got a big one as well. The luck of the point. Yeah, they're all the night, so. You're not being picked up. Okay. Who will have this one? Private Mayor. Where is he? Wondered <laughs> off. It's not interesting. Well, you can. Yeah. <laughs> that one. That's right. And that means the one that's left is mine, and that's all fair. Now, we don't have just yet a cookery corps in the US Army. So it's up to each man to do with his ration what he can. However, when men are together, there's groups of them, some of them are better cooks than others. So they, having been as fair as we can to divvy it all out, you'll get some groups of men clubbing together and being what they call mess mates, and they will cook together. So rather than having three different fires, three different pots, you've got one pot, and they, they, they communally eat that. So the next thing, you might, you might be wondering what them are. Pork, beans, and bread. It's not beans, well it is beans, but they're coffee beans. That's what coffee, coffee looks like. Oh. It was green coffee beans. So the first thing we've got to do is roast them. Yeah. And I'll be doing that later today, but I think we'll be doing some fire. If you want to come back about two, I'll show you the roasting the coffee yeah. beans. Milk and sugar, please. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> comes, comes black. Sugar, sugar care of occasion, when you Yes, your sugar's part of the ration, but I mean the basic ration was half tack bread and uh, salt pork and coffee pretty much be guaranteed most of the time you would get that. But if you look at what the regs say, you, you, 
you'd expect beans, lentils, beef, fresh beef, if it was, if it was cattle about. Uh, what else? Rice. Sugar, molasses, rice, all these things are part of the ration. You need ramen. You did pretty well. But when you're on campaign, you would at least have this because that'll keep you going. Pretty much just what you could get your hands on. Yes, yeah. and that, that would be supplemented with what you can get your hands on. If we're in camp, then you would get subtlers that would sell extra things. You can get tins of oysters, for example, yeah. tins of beans, all sorts of stuff. Could, like, Condensed milk, right? that was a bit of a luxury, you know. Yeah. Learning by detail. So here we go. We've done this five times already, but this time it's for you. <laughs> Well, all I'm going to do this time is tell you the part where the round goes in, because you'll see it. Let's go. Open your mouth as well. Right. Open go like that. Yeah. Then the sound will go through your ears and out your mouth, so it's fine then. Side if you want, and he'll do it with you. Do, do it this side with him, he'll do it with you. Right, I'll hold it with him. It's a bit heavy. Got him. So, what are you going to do when you go to fire? Right, you go three, two, one. You go three, two, one. And when you say three, two, one, when you say one, you got to bring it down. Would you like to say ready, yeah. aim, and then fire this time? Yeah, right. you have to you shout. You have to be really loud. Are you really loud? Yeah, are you okay? Ready. ready. Shout ready. 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 Aim. 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 <laughs> Fire. Fire. Aim. 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 Aim.
Right, ball, right. You got the glove. Turn, turn, turns out for 50s. No, not yet, but I will, I will do quickly. Uh, no, no, stick, stick with this. Oh, okay. I'm getting confident now. Oh. The winning streak is coming in. What if I get there to five before you? Five comes in. I'm going to go for three. No, I'm not. I'm going to go for two. <laughs> if I well. <laughs> so you got that. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> As you are. Thank you.